While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. It's the book of Exodus, chapter yeah, 20. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So this is just referring yeah, to right, keep right. the Sabbath day. Keep the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day, right. the Sabbath day as we read on, we'll, we'll discover that it's okay. not Sunday. Yeah. Like you mentioned, it's yeah. Sunday. Read on. Oh, sure. Six days shall thou, shall thou labor and do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt, do, thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thou... Excuse me. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So what we see here is uh -huh. that we are to observe the Sabbath day. The Sabbath yeah. day is the seventh day of the week, which is, according to the Bible, when you look at Genesis chapter 1, yeah. the days start in the evening. They start at night. For so sure. Friday night, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown right. is the Sabbath day. That's the day when you look at Leviticus chapter 23. That's the day that we gather together and we right. refresh ourselves amongst each other. Well, you brothers don't even get involved with nothing on the Sabbath day. No work or nothing, right? We don't work. Right. We don't buy. We don't sell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we gather together. Uh -huh. There's no cooking. So right. we, all of our meals we prepared. When you look at Exodus chapter 16 and uh, Exodus 31, we prepare our meals Friday before the sun goes yes, down. Yes, indeed. And then on, Sab on the Sabbath day, we eat salads, See, sandwiches, cold foods, yeah. or the leftovers from what right. we cook well, Let me night. take, I'm going to take one of my first callers in. Let's bring Benjamin on the line, Titus. We keep the conversation going. Okay. You should be able to hear what he says once you put up. He might be here from here, too. Benjamin. Good morning, oh, yeah, you can hear. Yeah, we can hear you pretty good, bro. First of all, good morning to you, T.O. Hunter and Mr. Ceasefire. Yes, indeed. No matter where I'm at, I listen to you. Yes, sir. Um, I'm going to definitely congratulate the brothers. Uh, the Israelites. Okay. And I want to tell them, uh, we always talk about having conflict resolution in the community, even though I'm out here in the West suburbs. And once a month, we have the different religious groups, and we sit down and talk as men. You got your Whether you're Mormon like me, we talk with Muslims, that bad? Catholics, Jewish, whatever religion you are, everybody's welcome. So my question to you, brothers, that are Israelites, once again, I respect Everybody's religion. Do you work with other religious groups? Or well, if you Stay on the line, Benjamin, because I want them to answer their question. Hey, Benjamin, Benjamin, listen, stay on the line. I want them to answer the question for you. I think that's a fair question because a lot of times, you know, people feel when you're in a particular religion, sometimes you don't want to work with other people. I don't think that's the case with the brothers here, uh, the way I see it. Another thing I want to commend you all, and I mean this from my spirit, right? You all don't deny who you are, no matter where you go. Right. Even you all reading out the Bible today, to me that's powerful. I mean that, seriously, because what happens a lot of times people kind of change up sometimes. They want to try to compromise or coalesce and try to act as if uh, this is not who they really, really are. You know, in some right. settings, they want to change. You guys are the same every time I see y'all. Okay. That's the point I'm trying to make. Right, right. And then you That's believe right. in what you believe. So you guys don't play with it. That's what I like about it. Okay. More than anything else, you guys don't play with what you believe in. So, so I allow you guys to answer this question. So Do you all co co collaborate with other uh, religious organizations? Yeah, First Corinthians. One and ten. First Corinthians. Oh, hanging that bench. So go through. One of the things, when, yeah. as we as we read this right before we read it, so one of the things that we've been doing as of recent right. is trying to make the connections with like the Christian Church and uh, the Nation of Islam to see where see if we can come to a a, 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 a common ground, mutual okay. agreement to actually benefit, help benefit the community. Right. But what we what we do believe in, read this real quick. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye shall that ye all speak the same thing, 
and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. So in that, uh, op, in that, uh, what's the, in that, uh, okay. what's the word I'm looking for? In that effort to, okay. to come elaborate. to a common ground yeah. and elaborate, right. we have to speak the same thing. So if if I believe that you can, just to, just as an example, if I believe that, if we believe that you can only have one wife, but then there's a group that comes on and say, no, nah, we can have multiple wives. We can't we can't walk together because we don't have the same. Agreement. See, you know, I'm gonna challenge you. Know, and that's just the light. I know. Well, I'm gonna challenge you in a violent. positive way on that, real quick. Okay. okay. So I'm glad you said that because that kind of like, in my mind, it kind of answers the question. Now I'm saying this in the most strongest way. Okay. So what you're saying then, if a person has a difference and you are may not agree, in other words, on right. different principles, it's okay that we can agree to disagree, right? But that means that you cannot walk with them per se. Correct? Right. Explain that a little bit more for me then, so I can get the real meaning of what you said. So we, the, the caller yeah, asked, and people. you are collaborating with other people. So let's say you, you meet with the brothers from the Nation of Islam, right? Uh -huh. Or you meet with a Baptist person, but you all may not have the same kind of belief system, but can you still collaborate with them on different events and, and uh, work with them? And instead of trying to convert them, so you instead of trying to convert them to what you believe, can you collaborate with them independent of your belief system? So you're saying like right. in the sense in the sense of yeah. let's say we have a, a youth a youth violence seminar yes, we come and right. they, they speak on their points and we speak you on can our do points that, yeah. to help right. to help benefit the community. Exactly. In that aspect, yes, that's one For of the sure. things that we're working on setting up. When we go out in the community, we get we're trying to get community get community leaders, yes, indeed. various people to come in and speak and mm -hmm. then we also speak where we speak and do, do you hear that Benjamin? Benjamin? Like I said, you know, I teach a boxing program out here in West okay, Suburbs. And out of over a yeah. thousand, thousand children that we coach, I know of at least 12 different religions. Okay. And even though the children have 12 different religions, we all treat them with respect. Without a doubt. We're going to do that. Okay. Alright, cool. So before we take another caller, I do want to talk about that just a little bit, alright? Because uh -huh. when it comes down to women within the Israelites, right? Right. It's not, it's not like I have a whole lot of information about your belief system there, right? Right. And am I using the right term when I say belief system? Or would you all prefer a better term than that? Uh, belief system. Is right, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's so cool. what is the, what is the uh, process with women? Can, can an Israelite have more than one wife? No. Give me that. Okay, talk to First, See, that's a big mis misperception out there in the universe now. Because some people believe that the Israelites have um, more than one wife, whatever the case may be. So you said no. That's correct. So is that the difference between yeah. Hebrew Israelites and Israelites? Is there a difference with that? So the thing with when right, you say right. Hebrew Israelites, Hebrew, exactly. Hebrew is a language. Right, right. So, right. and then when you, like, some people say, because you see Abram of the Hebrews. Yeah, yeah. Hebrews is not just the Israelites. So okay. you say Hebrew Israelites, it's almost like saying yeah. those fake Israelites. Mm. When you say Hebrew, saying, that's, Hebrew, that's, okay. That's, that's well, we need to educate the people. That's all right. we're doing is so, educate. So read that real quick, first of all. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 1. Yeah. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, mm. let every man have his own wife. So it says, let every man have his own That's wife. Right. That's when right. you say have your own <laughs> wife, that means you have one, have one wife. wife. That's yes. not two women, three women. Okay. That's one wife. Yes. And let every woman have her own wife. Husband. And that woman is to have her own One husband. husband. And let's right. go to what Christ said real quick. Matthew right. chapter 19, verse 5. This is the book of Matthew chapter 19, and verse 5. Yeah, this is kind of deep. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. So this is out of Christ's mouth. Yeah, he yeah. said, A man, which is yeah, yeah. One, one individual said, leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, not his wives. So it says his wife, and it says they twain, so two shall be one, one flesh. Read. They say unto him, why did Moses then command oh, to... Verse 6. Excuse me, verse 6. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. But let me say this to you also. Uh, this is real good information because it's 
cleared up a lot of things for me personally, right? Because okay. I studied the nation of Islam, I was raised Baptist, Catholic, and all kinds of stuff, right? So I have to learn uh, about God in my own way as well right. as I continue to live in this life cycle. But that's very important to me. I do know for a fact when a man loves a woman and he gets down with that one, what I mean by get down, he's with that one woman. Right. He's totally loyal and committed, she's committed. Your life will be more plentiful then. Right. I know that much uh, to be true. Been there, done that, you know what I mean? Right. So I think it's the best thing for anybody listening. I believe it's very important for a man to be with one woman. Some of us fall victim to that player mindset, right. you know, want to have multiple wives and stuff like that. Right. That's just the way it is with some of us. Right. Now, the thing is, when our people, I'll take a few more calls in a second here also. When our people were transported over here, uh, kidnapped from the shores of Africa, right. is there any information over from the shores of Africa that lead to the uh, Israelites? before we even got here to the United States. Is there any type of record of information, or history of our people, what kind of uh, religion that we were practicing even way back then? Is there anything on the books? Anything? Absolutely. That's okay, talk to me. Talk That's to a me. lot of information. Okay. Um, you can use books such as Our Living Bible, yeah. um, Iconoclasm, uh, Russian Timbuktu. Babylon and Timbuktu. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Written by, uh, I'm uh, familiar with that. that J. J. Rogers. Rogers. So, yeah. I can right. recall. Yeah. Um, what's another one? Russian icons. All okay. of those things, they give uh, information on how we were living, our uh, access to different cities that we dwelt in, in Africa, and yeah. also the customs that we were actually keeping. That's what I'm talking uh, about. They have these all in their uh, different dictionaries. Because nature knows, knows no color. I love the title already. Rogers, right yeah, there. yeah. And this goes to our history on right. us being Israelites, us yeah. being called Moors. Like today, they call us uh, Negro, right? Yes. Um, I'm not sure if I can say the other word. No, you can say we. It's, oh, this Negro, is talk right? Radio, radio. But uh, that's we don't really uh, confuse on the show, not confuse the WVON. But that word is used sometimes. I mean, that's what they used to call us. Right. But if you no actually doubt. look into this book, this right here goes into the history of our people with like the different coats of arms, all of this right here, right here. These are coats of yeah. arms that we yeah. had here in France. Okay. okay? Uh, let me show you some more. But this goes to all the history, how we lived, how we were called mulattoes, how we were called uh, yeah, Mohammedans yeah. or the Moors, okay, and Spain, the Moors, and Spain, Great right. Britain, I, I all of that. For example, like King James, he was yeah. a black, he was the last black king in, yeah, Scotland, about that. in yeah. Scotland, right? He was the one that authorized the mm -hmm. Bible to be translated from Latin into English. Okay. Okay, so people think that Good King James was the author of the Bible, he was not the author, he was an authorizer, meaning he had the authority to allow the Bible to be translated from one language to right. another. Good stuff, so hold that for a minute so I gotta take some calls too, right. right? I have to be mindful of the callers. Let's bring Anita on the line, then we'll get to Brother Art, Eduardo, Darby, and other callers. Uh, Anita. Good morning, that's a good topic, especially when you say that you have. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, whether you're in the country or whether you're in a city, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, the Lord commands us. Exactly. He's only one way. He doesn't change. Can I get uh, Malachi chapter 3 verse 6? The book of Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. For I am the Lord. I change not. You see that? So the Lord changes not. So his judgment doesn't change whether you're in the country or whether you're in the city. Okay. When, the Lord says that no, no. when the Lord says that there's one wife, he means that. Uh, when the Lord says keep the Sabbath day holy, he means that. When the Lord says thou shalt not buy or sell or cook on the Lord's day, he means that. And it doesn't matter whether you're in the country or in the city. So I pray that uh, I pray that answers her question. If that's I think it answers the question. question pretty good because a lot of those that are incarcerated, uh, a lot of them find God while they're locked up because they have a lot of time to themselves, mm -hmm. you know, to a degree. It's a strong place. I don't want to see nobody locked up, but it's a place where you can really find out what you stand on mm -hmm. and what you really believe in doing that, those lonely moments just to yourself in solitary confinement. And you need some type of religion to be down there, in my opinion. Some yeah. type of structure within your life to kind of help you along at that, that time. Right. Yeah, I, I just one quick comment, like, with the, as far as the South versus what we mm -hmm. can say in the Northern states. Yeah. The, one of the differences is, like, I know we deal with violence. We deal with violence whether you're in the South or No matter North. where you are. So, yeah. but with the South, they actually see the the prejudice the racism plain in plain sight where whereas up here in up north it's hidden more sometimes laid back. where yeah, it's more yeah. laid back where you don't see it For sure. directly gotcha. so you can get you get a false sense of security, security right. when you think things are good when they actually not all right cool so let's take another call let's bring art on the line let's get brother art on uh titus 
All right. So far, so good, everybody. I'm doing my best. I'm going to keep it lively in the morning. Right. I got you. All right, brother Art, right. how you doing today? I'm doing great, young people. How are you? All right, brother Art, I appreciate you. Yes, indeed. And let me just show. Right on, brother. Appreciate your call. Now, I must say this as we go back to slavery. Right? I teach on the history of Af Africa before the colonizers. In my revolutionary spirit, I don't think I could have been a slave. I'm speaking for me. I can't speak for nobody else. I just know who I am as a man today. And it would have been hard for me. Now, Kanye West, people thought he was kind of crazy one time or another because he made a statement. How did African people end up in slavery when they had more numbers than the colonizers that came over to cap to put them in captivity, right? Because right. we had the numbers back then. We didn't have the guns, but we had the numbers. And you know, you had some very fierce warriors in Africa at the time, so how did we end up in slavery? Some of the African kings and queens did sell us to some of the colonizers. We found that out that out to be true, right? So what I'm saying, even like Shaka Zulu out of South Africa, solid warrior, you see, warrior man, a, a real brother that stood up for the Zulu tribe, right? And fought the people, fought the colonizers three different wars before he was kind of defeated, but the man had a history of being a strong general over there. So I want everybody in the world to understand we had some strong brothers. How we ended up in slavery is a mystery. It's, it's a mystery to me. Okay, Art, yeah, I thought you had, uh, wasn't there. Go ahead, Art, go ahead. Here we are. Yeah, how did we end up in slavery? How did we get taken into captivity and we had millions of African people? Do you all want to respond to any of that? If we are, if we were the stronger people, we were more in number, exactly. how did the people that was lesser than us come and overtake us? That's my point. So get Deuteronomy 28 and Bring 16. it on up. Help me understand. Because we, we spoke about ships. We know everybody knows about the slave ship. Yes. We are the only people on this earth that mm -hmm. were took in, into captivity on slave ships. And they're not just not just the blacks as in us I know with the saying. color of our skin. The Hispanics and natives were also taken over into Spain on slave ships. Yeah. When you examine the history. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight and verse sixty eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So if you understand Bible history, you know that the Israelites were in Egypt and slavery. Yeah, so Egypt sure. here is not talking about the physical land of Egypt. It's talking about slavery. Okay. So it said the Lord will bring you into Egypt again or into slavery again, but this time it says with ships. Yeah. When you examine history, who did that happen to? That happened to us. Have to be, so that right. separates us. Okay. And, uh, read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. When you look at Exodus chapter 14 and 13, it's the Most High God told the Israelites that they would never see the Egyptians again. So to let us further know that this is not talking about during this time. This is talking about us going in slave ships during what, the 16, 19, yes, right. 14, 92? There you go. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies hmm. for bond men and bond women. Again, if I may, Joel chapter 3. Uh, jump, Joel chapter three, just dealing with as far as because the thing is like we we are Israelites, we're not we actually not African. Even though they picked up picked us up so the from the coast of Africa, we were not African. The reason why we were in Africa, when you examine the Bible, you examine history, you look at uh, what is it, Luke twenty, uh, or Luke twenty one, when they destroyed when they destroyed when they destroyed uh, our temple in Jerusalem in seventy A.D., we fled into Africa. Why? Why we fled into Africa? Because we looked the same. Mm -hmm. We was able to go in, they go there and blend in. Gotcha. Uh, read that in Joel. The book of Joel, you want verse 3? Uh, start at 3, yeah. The book of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. So when we look and you examine history, you examine our history, what happened yeah. to us during slavery, that's what we were sold for. We was, our young men were sold as harlots. They were sold as breeders. 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 Yeah, they were breeders. Yeah. Even Harlot said they sold the girl for wine. So the boy for an harlot, and sold the girl for wine, and that they might drink. There was the orgies and the parties that they were Everything having. Everything that was going on. Yeah. All right. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? That's talking about the Africans. Tyre and, and Zidon are African nations. Three. And all the coast of Palestine. Palestine is the Arabian. Three. And will will ye render me a recompense? Uh huh. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own Jump head? To verse six. It's verse six. six. The children also of Judah. The children of Judah is talking about the, as we know, the southern okay. kingdom of Judah, which I is the, 
Travis, yeah, so, Richard Benjamin, Levi, Ariel. So now we're going to give me one more, more thing because I got a couple of callers. All right, we're going to finish this verse. The off. children mm -hmm. also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. So this is what happened when yeah, yeah. you say the Africans sold. Afri we say yeah, what's we said commonly is the African sold Africans right. to the so called yeah. Caucasian sure. man. Always, yeah. No, it was the African sold Israelites over sure. to the Grecians to the so called Caucasians. Yeah. Right. And that's what happened with the slave trade. Yes, okay, so let's bring in water on the on the line and hanging at Mama D, I'll get you a dive And what up? Good morning, can you hear me? I can hear you good. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Roll 